Hey YouTube, it's uh, Blake's Tools. Um, I want to do an updated uh, toolbox tour. Uh, I think ever since the last one I got, uh, the only difference is I got the new bottom section. It's uh, the Harbor Freight 44 inch roller. It's the uh, the older model, the 18 inch deep. They just came out with the, I think it's 22 inch deep or something, I don't know. But I found it on Craigslist super cheap. Uh, so I grabbed it. Um, so let's dive in. I got a bunch more tools since the last video too. The top is still basically the same. We got your knives up here. In here I got uh, quick release uh, tools for fuel lines and, and gas lines and things like that. I got uh, pens and, and uh, flashlights and a little magnet in there. Bottle opener. I think my spark plug gapper's in here. Yeah, there it is. Um, second drawer. It's got my brushes in the back, just a few of them, and a, a few small air tools and such. And I keep my uh, car keys in here, the cars that stay in the garage, I keep the keys in, in this drawer. Uh, in here is still sockets and ratchets. Uh, I know they're disorganized. I got a box last night with a bunch of miscellaneous crap in them. I never used these ones. The ones back there, I just threw them in there last night. Haven't organized them yet because this is not my primary socket drawer. Um, I use this a lot, the small set. I've added a lot of things to it. It's not just standard anymore. I've added a breaker bar and extensions, other loose sockets it didn't have. It comes in handy. I got my uh, universal joints, all my little fittings and adapters here. I got a ton of uh, ratchets and extension bars up front. I got my half inch uh, drive uh, 12 point snap on SAE set there. I got the one is missing because it's on my uh, one of my ratchets in the back of my truck for a project I had. But I, I got a bunch of ratchets in here and stuff. Uh, so this this drawer is more for my my ratchet socket stuff, as in like the smaller and and more loose things. The primary drawer for the sockets is actually this long one here. Um, under here, I've just, uh, you know, miscellaneous stuff, except this little compartment that I made here, uh, like, five years ago. Uh, I've got my little punches and, and pokes, and, you know, what, and I got chisels over here and stuff. I never use this stuff. Um, down to the the uh, Harbor Freight one, the, the bottom. The big long drawer, like I said, is primarily, or the primary socket and ratchet drawer. This one needs some more organization. Um... I'm not done with it yet, but I got all the ratchets and sockets I use the most in here. Got my three-quarter inch drive ratchet, all my snap-on 12-point three-quarter inch drive sockets back there. I got uh, my Husky, you know, universal sockets there, impact sockets, all uh, somewhat organized. Um, I got miscellaneous deep wells. These are the standard, and these are the metric. Uh, I've got a bunch of breaker bars under there. I've got my two sets SAE and metric crow's feet, all three of my uh, torque wrenches, metric deep. I use that constantly, so that's why I have that one um, separate and more organized than the rest. It's actually the um, the Harbor Freight set with a, with a couple added. Like, it didn't have the 18, so I found an 18 mil six-point and put it in there. And I needed a 22, so I went to AutoZone, got a Duralast, and added it because it stopped at 21. Um... This first uh, longer drawer, it's it's longer than those ones on the 13 drawer cabinet. The first one is my metric wrenches. Um, this is a, a quick uh, grab set of my standard uh, metric combination wrenches. And under there is basically the continuation of it. This one here is my gear wrench ratcheting ones. Uh, the 8 millimeters out, I gotta put that back. And then there's my stubby ratcheting ones. And then up here is uh, a few line wrenches and things and uh, other things that are just loose and not in their own set. And I got my adjustable wrenches in here because I have more room in the metric drawer than I do in the standard drawer. The one below it is the standard drawer. Obviously, as you can see, I got way less room in here. I got my same thing, gear wrench, ratcheting, and then just gobs and gobs of miscellaneous Um I haven't organized them because it's not worth it. I hardly ever touch those. They're just like things I've acquired through garage sales and buying other boxes. And, and I, I always keep the name brand ones and throw them in there. 
but there's no use organizing them really it's just not worth it I've got the huge ones over here um, and then in this uh, this tray here I've uh, started to make a little makeshift set I have a I have another set it's just not in here um, you know just going up but I hardly ever used um, standard wrenches uh, the next drawer I've got uh, hammers and mallets that's pretty self-explanatory below this I got uh, manuals repair manuals instruction manuals a couple lawnmower manuals there my s10 um, notebook uh, tracker manual tracker owners manual and then I got a bunch of manuals for my tools in there this one has uh, this one's like another miscellaneous drawer I got a couple code scanners in here strap wrenches uh, t torsion bar tool uh, Suzuki hub tool uh, Pittman arm tool uh, pry bars uh, I use this to install a rear seal on a transmission so I put that in there um, underneath I've got my angle grinder that's not how I store it my dad used it last I wrapped it up that way so I need to fix that I got um, oil filter wrench pipe wrenches uh, puller um, more stuff to go with the grinder then underneath that it's just a bunch of stuff I never even use I got my uh, piston ring uh, compressor in there valve spring compressor things that you know I hardly ever use Ugh, okay now we'll go over to the side the first shorter drawer is uh, my flat edge screwdrivers I got my commonly used ones organized and then all the miscellaneous thrown in the back same with the Phillips, my commonly used ones organized, they slide sometimes, and then all the miscellaneous just thrown in the back of there. Underneath here is my um, Torx drivers, Allen keys, and then my ratchet Allen keys below, and then my uh, uh, socket, not ratchet, socket um, Torx keys, and then in the back again, just garage shell stuff, throwing them in there, miscellaneous, and a couple miscellaneous uh, nut drivers. The stuff that's all thrown in a pile and miscellaneous, I hardly ever use it. So the way it sits, it, uh, it doesn't bug me because I got my organization uh, in the ones that I use all the time. Um, I got a couple drawers that I haven't filled yet. Uh, here I just got a couple uh, tools and cases. And then uh, I've actually got my ball joint toolkit right there. That's a Harbor Freight one too. I haven't used it yet, but I'll put a review when I use it. And that's my uh, Harbor Freight parts washer. Alright, over here on the 18 inch side cabinet, this thing's awesome. I'd recommend that. I got a video on that specifically. I got all my pliers and stuff in there. Again, the ones I use more often I got up front. And then the ones that I barely ever use like this. I hardly ever use that. I keep that in the back. Chain wrenches in the back. I don't use that very much. Then I got the... Uh, the electrical drawer that's a mess just like everyone has one of these and it's always a mess you always got to jam stuff in there when you want to shut it see look at that it's already pushing stuff out you always that's how they are and then I got a couple uh, empty drawers here again this one's got uh, just a couple miscellaneous things tap and die set other loose taps and dies I got a cozy in there and uh, another one of those little socket sets it's broken though uh, I got my uh, hardware and seals and, and, and stuff like that in there. Um, I see a lot of guys do that in one of their toolbox drawers. You know, it's I mean, I guess it's a good place to store it if you got the room. In here I got my air tools and then another box of sockets. I know, hard to use them. So that's why they're there because I don't know where else to put them. Um, got my air tool oil there too. Uh, in this one I got my timing gun. Uh vacuum tester, uh, brake bleeder, and underneath there I've got a uh, pulley remover and installer set. Um, up top there's really nothing. There's a couple uh, wrench trays and I've got sealants and stuff in there. That's where I keep my sealers and stuff. JB Weld, but the top really doesn't get used because you can hardly open it. Um, I know that there's crap on it. These are a bunch of car parts. This is my AC set for the S10 I got installed, and then a bunch of uh, parts for my Avalanche up there. And uh, I've got I've got these Allen uh, these T-screw T-screw drivers Allens sitting up there because they won't fit in any of my drawers. And I got my drill and screw gun bag sitting there. 
Um, but yeah, that's the uh, updated toolbox tour at least. Um, I really like the cabinet. Even I mean that thing I think is like 15 years old, but it's I mean it's still just fine. Um, the newer ones obviously are, are way nicer with the with the other colors and the, the they're deeper. Um, but I think I paid like 150 dollars for that, and I even have a few tools in it when I bought it. So I, I think I got a steal. Um, once I outgrow this, like I still have a few drawers I haven't filled yet. Once I outgrow it, I'm gonna get the 44 inch top cabinet. And then if I if I uh, outgrow that, or I should say when I outgrow that, I'll get another side cabinet for the other side. Um, but yeah, that was my updated toolbox store. I figured I'd share it since I've changed a lot since the last one. Um, all right, yeah, thanks a lot. Rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Thanks.